It's Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial, official Texans pregame show. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans Talk with Texans. And now here are your hosts Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rogers. Welcome back. Welcome back. Week three. Week three, man. How you doing, man? Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Ah, shit. <laughs> shit. Strong hands. Yeah. Anyways, uh... Let's get to it, man. Excuse me. Anyways, um... We're back uh, for another pregame show. Week What's three, up, Nick? folks. Week well, three. Okay, let, let's get on with it. Cause and yes, again, the, the shades. I'm still mourning. Uh, you want to start it off? Just do it, man. Okay, so what's up? The Texans lost. Um, what do you think about, uh, what's his name? Ryan Mallett, right? Ryan Mallett, man. He had a horrible, again, another offensive, offensive start. Just like in week one, you can't have that. You can't do it in the NFL, period. He, th- he threw 58 passes for 244 yards. 58 passes? Yeah, he got that. Goddamn. He shoot, what, he tried to do how smart, uh, Tom Brady? Hell no! Sick with you cannot get away with that kind of BS whatsoever. And yes, folks, the receivers will jump in passes. You can't do that. Those passes there are very important. Okay, well let's 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 go. Do you have anything to say for, for the first and second quarter? I don't. Uh, as far as I know, it, it was just sloppy all around, I, across the board. I mean, it, it was ridiculous. I mean, they're not playing Texas football whatsoever. Yeah. They look good. <coughs> sorry, I'm feeling uh, under the weather again. Um, so what's up? I, oh, I noticed sorry. you got a lot of notes. And you yeah, on drop yeah. Now. I'm sorry. I, I'm just so. I'm we, right now. we got a guess. Um, we do. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, the first half there. I'm sorry. It sucked. I mean, they're not like, like I said. They're not playing Texas football overall. And Coach Bill O'Brien. Look, he can say this or he can say that. Overall, it's simple. We want to win like this. We want to win, don't you, folks? A W. We don't want to hear excuses. We don't want to hear good things or good things. No, 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 no. We know this. Just give us a damn W. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, what else do you got? Um. Oh, yeah, the defense. Okay. What would you think of defense? I don't know. I, I, the whole game sucked. It, it really pissed me off. When, whenever I saw that crap, it look. I almost don't want to talk about it. I want to get I want to get over with this damn show because this show. That's why I'm, I'm passing the football to you. Hopefully you don't fumble it because I have nothing to say about it. I mean, well, it was sloppy last week and it is sloppier even uh, this week. Anyways, uh, what else you got? Oh, um, third, fourth quarter. Same thing. Oh, oh, now do I want to come back? Hell no! Oh yeah, no. They want to come right. back, right? No, 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 no. So, so let, let let's get a uh, let's move past this game. Let's talk about. Oh, the next no, game. Well, I'm sorry. What? One more thing. Vince Wilford, he said that in an interview uh, the past week that uh, time is running out. Who said that? Vince Who's Wilford. That? Who's that? He's uh, he's he's a player that came from uh, the Super Bowl champion uh, Patriots. He said time's running out for the Texans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you know what? Speaking of time is running out. Before we move further on with the show, uh, we have a special guest live via satellite. Uh, he was on one of our shows last year. Um, this time he's on again, and he claims that Illuminati is knocking at the front door of the Houston Texans. You know that? Here he is, John Wayne Carter. Illuminati just. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Um, so you say Illuminati is knocking on the front door? Oh yes, uh, I'll tell you what's going on. They are knocking on the door on, uh, of the Texans. Uh, first of all, they got a running back who, who loves money more than anything else in the world. Uh, they got a, a coach 
with a CD past and now you know they're stars of, of that hit uh, TV show uh, what is it called uh, uh, the hard knocks the one that on HBO with all my research and, and uh, years of, of digging around with Illuminati, uh, these are the beginning stages of Illuminati uh, trying to infiltrate the Texans. Um, and plus I got a stack of papers right here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to discuss today, gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, uh, per first of all, we don't have uh, all day to talk about that. So let's just talk about the CD coach, all right? And Arian Foster. I'm assuming. I mean, okay, that's fine. Since you you want to handcuff me uh, from uh, telling the truth. Uh, nobody's telling. Nobody, nobody handcuff handcuff you, man. <laughs> okay, well. So what's CD about the coach? Well, let me tell you what's CD about uh, Mr. O'Brien. Uh, he's from the Northeast uh, Massachusetts area. Uh, his refresh. He, most of his professional career he was there uh, he's been a uh, coaching quarterback uh, quarterback coach offensive coordinator for New England Patriots uh, hello okay yeah. so hello you hear me yeah you just what, what's bad about that <laughs> uh, really Joe cool uh, New England um, and all the Northeast Hemisphere of America is is entrenched in uh, in the Illuminati. I mean, it it basically started there, you know. I mean, how do you think uh, New England got them championships? I mean, they're still being exposed as cheaters to to this day. Uh, plus, O'Brien just came from that uh, that devil uh, sex scandal college, uh, Penn State. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, the writing is. Is all over about? Yeah, with this guy. To do with that. What the? Well, look, my point is, I don't trust this guy. All right. I mean, to me, that that, that spells out Illuminati. Okay. Well, let's talk about Arian Foster. I think I know what you're gonna say about him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you you should. A lot of people actually should. He's been putting it out there. Uh, I mean, I know I said the writing's on the wall with, with O'Brien, but with Arian Foster, I believe the writing is on the wall, but it's written in blood, okay? Uh, what is he talking okay? about? Okay, uh, first he came out as a vegan, okay? The, I believe, and then he came out, uh, he saw, he's not a real vegan, but he, he likes to eat healthy, okay, whatever. And then he joins a Nazi Green Party, uh, then he's getting uh, women pregnant left and right. Uh, then let's st let's stop the presses for this uh, gentleman. Uh, he finally steps out of the closet and announces that he's a atheist. Yeah. So this guy uh, has zero morals. Okay, he's a vegan. Okay, and he's uh, he's one of these. Uh, Flip floppers, you know, joins the Nazi Green Party. He, you know, he just wants dictatorship. You know, one world government. It's typical of uh, Illuminati to uh, to pick up, uh, you know, uh, these godless people. You know, oh, I'm an atheist. Oh, I'm a vegan. You know, he, he's coming out every year. I mean, I'm surprised he's not going to come out. Uh, he's uh, homosexual <laughs> next year. I mean, look. Arian Foster could be the, the next Antichrist. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, on that. Oh, so I noticed you and you are both alive, and y'all still haven't taken my demands seriously, have y'all? Hell no. Shit. Uh -uh. I mean, what? Hell no. Uh -uh. So. Think you'll survive again? Oh, you're gonna bomb us again? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, come find us. Come bring it. You say, That's the shit. God dang, fucker. Him and. Well, excuse, excuse me. You seem like you're angry, Joe. Like you have something to let off your chest. Yeah, I do. But well, why don't you say it, bitch? Yeah, exactly. This fuck. Cut his ass up. Well, hey, why, why, why don't you uh, tell us where you're at? We'll yeah. fight fist to fist. How about that? Instead of trying to bomb the shit out of us. Yeah.
Well, I could, but that'd be too easy. This is excellent. Well, I know that you are living, but now I must plan my next. Basically, enjoy the breath you are breathing right now, because y'all won't be breathing for long. Not even your bullshit Terminators can save y'all. We'll see. We'll see about that. Click. Get this ass out of here. Sorry, folks. Let's just get back to fo uh, football, all right? Let's just get back to football. Nothing to BS. All right, all right. Look, all right. I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm tired of all this shit, you know? Yeah, me too. I mean, no, I mean, well, I, I'm I'm really tired of all this shit. I mean, I don't know. I was irritated before I did the show, was doing the show. It's just things in life, you know? It's just... Come on, man. We got to see the football. Don't worry about it, man. It's all about having fun, right? Oh, is I it? Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's get back to football. I know. You know what? I, I don't know. I, I think I'm done with it. You know? That... I don't know, with John Wayne Carter, I just, he was pissing me off talking about bullshit, you know? Who cares what he thinks? Who cares what the And then the, the stupid thing? terrorists. Who cares? And then the terrorists on the internet that are making comments on my videos, you know? Ah. I mean, to me, it's like, you want to say something, say it to my face, you know? Don't be a coward and, and write comments and shit, you know? Especially comments that aren't true. And you know what? And, some, and I got to say this, okay? Because... There, there's something to me that is very key that I, you know loyalty is something that you know you can't buy all right like you Nick you know I I've told you certain stuff and it's like oh well well you know I don't want to talk about it on the show okay but it's like sometimes it, it's better to have no friends than you know one million friends okay because it's like I don't know it's just to, to see your friends with the enemy, you know, so to speak. I mean, how do you do that? You know, that loyalty is something, you know, it's hard to find loyal people around here, you know? And not fucking slaves either, okay? Hey! People, hey, hey. No, no, I'm just saying, people that, uh, that you know, oh, you know, you're not associating with that person, so am I. Uh, oh, me neither, you know? But it's like, whatever, man. You know what, I'm done with this fucking bullshit show. Wow.